Hello there, welcome back. So let's work in the geometry. So here we have our problem definition. Now we go 3D, okay? As you see, it's a simple geometry, but I will, I will show you a few things. So first, let me do it in the same modeler, then I will show you a space clean. So <clears throat> in the same modeler, so remember to do geometry. So open workbench, save your case, put it whatever you want, and you have here geometry, okay? Put geometry tab there, and now, See so a right click and see that by default, and this will, will propose your space clean. But we want to use the same modeler, so select the same modeler and it will launch. So remember, the same modeler is a proper parameter cat, it's not as friendly as some other commercial options, so such as SolidWorks, on shape, solid edge, stuff like that. But it's a parameter, it works, but can be a little bit tricky to use. And then a space clean is a solid modeler, okay? Very. Uh, I really like, okay, very powerful. However, it lacks a little bit the parametrization that you can get for with a professional CAD software. In any case, we're going to work with the bus tools. So remember that to create a 3D solid, as I mentioned, you need to start for two these caches, okay? So basically what we have here, this geometry, we have this pie, this circular section. So we can take this approach, create this profile, and then just extrude that profile. So let's do that. Okay, so you choose a working plane. I will choose that I would like to sketch here. So you select this one and remember here, you have new sketch, select, and now you have access to the sketching tools. Okay, so now you put their normal to the plane. And in our case, it's a circle, so you can choose whatever you want. You have many tools, okay? You can draw, then modify. You have stuff like fill, like chamfer, chamfer, trim, you got dimension. So it's up to you to play. Okay, here you add constraints. I will show you that just to force a point to be coincident with something. And then here you can add the grid if you want to put it. So see that. If, and then you can control all the space in every sense. So in my case, I'm not going to put that. I'm okay like this. I'm just going to draw. So I will put a circle and voila. Okay, you have it there. So remember that we were talking about that you sketch and then you can add dimensions. So you have the circle and I add dimensions. And in this case for us is 0.1. So see that now I have my circle there. Probably I want to move this dimension, put it closer there. So now fit the screen here. Let me move it again. So you have it there, okay? Your circular section. But one thing that, uh, unless you, you, unless you, for you it's important the height to do some setup in the CFD simulation. It doesn't matter where you put this origin, okay? But for instance, my advice. It's just to put it always in the zero, 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 you know, to, to centre everything. So look at that, I put it there, and now I want to put it concentric to this one. So just to show you again something that I can go again and draw another circle and see that when I move and you see that P there, P means that that one is centered with the origin, with that point, okay? It can be this origin or a point that you have there. C, it is on that line, okay? So in this case, centered with the axis, line but it can be with uh, any edge that you have in the geometry so i can i could have done like this and draw everything but i put it there just to show you how to add the constraint so look at that if i go constraint now i will say i want to use this one let's say coincident okay so i want to make this point coincident with this here Okay, so I don't see the origin there. Okay, so I don't see the origin there. So I will need to draw. So in this case, it make it, it make it coincident with this axis. So I will need to draw the origin. So I will need to put a con let me put a construction point. So see that put it there, and I have it perfectly there. So let me do now again that constraint coincident. And let me make this one coincident with this point that I have there. And see that now you have there that one. Okay. So just to make sure that I took the longest path. Okay. I could have done the easiest way. Okay. Choose the circle, put it there, and then you have a coincident there. Okay. But I choose the, the, the longest 
okay, the, the, the longest path just to show you. So it's up to you. I recommend you always to center everything in the origin. Okay, so now that you have this one, remember this is a sketch. You have it there constrained. And we need to convert this one into surface to do the, the, the operation that you have here to create solids. So you go in concept, surface from sketches, select this sketch, apply. And here I recommend you just to choose add frozen and see that you have there that surface that now exists as a part. Okay. So we were talking that when you go to mesh and you always want to have one single part, but Okay, so as we keep creating more parts and stuff, you, you just suppress, right click and see that you can suppress. For the moment, I don't want to suppress. And now that you have this, what we can do is extrude, select the face, this one, you see that I selected here. As you said, I recommend you to use there at, at frozen and then see here that you have the direction. Okay, so you can give it there. And then here you have length, seven meters generate and here we have our pipe okay easy piece okay so let me go back because i think they are okay so we have it there everything fine cool so this is one way to create this pipe okay but we have there is not only this way there are many ways to do to do this okay just to show you a few another alternative so this one we were using extrude this option we, we can use also revolve revolve we can create a section a rectangular section and revolve around an axis so how to do that when i want to do another sketch so i will choose now the plane y set this one put in a sketch there and now i move there so see that as i said i put something there and then you just give dimensions so now let me give dimensions so i want this one to be let's say 0 0.1 see that you have it there and now i want to give this dimension also b2 so it will seven and voila you have this and now what you can do is that revolve this surface around an axis but just to mention something as well to about constraints so i can constrain this to be in this line or be in this one. So remember that you have the constraint. So let's say that I want to do this line coincident with this one. Okay. So see that you have it there. You can also put lens. Okay. You have many constraints there. Okay. And uh, for instance, the length one, ta, 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 let me add, okay. Let me add a dimension. Okay. So it will be, okay. Let me add the dimension between this and this okay so i want to put it perfectly let's say at 0 0.5 okay or one it's up to you okay so see that as you have this constraint these are not this cannot change okay and this one will drive everything okay so we have that and let's say that i'm done as you have your sketch there remember that we want to convert it to a surface surface from the sketches as the user i recommend you to add frozen and you have there that one. So the next operation I want to do is revolve. So revolve will tell you, see here, geometry, select something. So we want to select a surface, apply there, and then the axis. I want to revolve around this axis or this axis. You can choose the axis. In my case is this. As you saw, I recommend you add frozen there. Okay, axis and generate and see that you have it there so in this case remember this is 0 0.2 okay remember that so you can click if, I, if you click here this one see here that okay now it's this it's giving you the length but also can uh, okay there is some word the option that will give you the, the diameter but we know that this one is 0 0.1 but as this is parametric i just go 0 0.05 generate and you have it there like this one so see that two ways to generate one and there are many ways to do this one okay i don't want to go but i just want to show you the, the the most important options here to create solids okay so we have same solid here and see that you have it here here and the uh, construction surfaces uh so just to show you for instance the another way that what we can do is create a path a line and then I can attach a profile to that line 
and do a swap. Okay, so just to show you how to do that one. So again, I will plot in these planes y z. So I will do it here. A new plot. Okay, normal, and let me enter. Okay, okay, well, let me put it here. Let me so just to show you to 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 to, to make it clear. Now I will choose instead of a straight line, I will put there and a spline, and see that I will put here, here, and it will up to here. Okay, right click and see open it, and I have this spline. Okay, I can add dimension, so I can say that horizontal okay or yeah okay okay it's plans you it's tricky to add dimension but anyway because we have this and what i want to do now is to attach a profile to this line and then this profile will follow this line okay so basically and here I will show you another option, which is important in, in, when you are doing parametric CAD, you need to create support geometries or support planes. So I need to sketch another profile here, but that profile that I want to sketch, you can select this plane here that you have there in that one, but that plane is not perpendicular to that line. Okay, so we need to create somehow here another another plane. So there is their option, but I will show you. So we need to have here is you go to create new plane here you can create new planes support planes and see here that you have many options we're going to use point and normal you select the point and a normal okay so let me erase it and let me go back so let me right click here and put here always show the sketch so sometimes it, it will hide it i want to have it visible so we have the point here if I select here, you have the point there. Okay, you select that one and you create that one. You have the point, but you are missing the normal. So let's create the normal. Okay, so to create the normal, see the option that we are going to use. Here you have this tangent line. Select the point and see that this line is tangent there. And here you have the normal. So one thing that I'm not going to do it like this, because remember, I am attaching a profile here that is going to follow this line. But this normal that you just added belongs to this one. So this is kind of not compatible having like this. Okay, so just that was just to, to show you. Okay, so control C and do it. So what I'm going to do better, so you know that we're sketching here. This is this sketch. Let's create another sketch here. Go here. And this sketch will access these points. You have access to that information. So I will do it in a separate sketch. See that you access there and you have it there. Okay. So see that now you have independent. So this is the path they are going to follow. And this is the normal to create that support plane. So you go, go here, new plane. You have many options. Okay. So you have the default planes. This one X, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z but you can create more planes okay so this one we want to use point and normal the point is this one apply and the normal is this one apply okay and see that it's asking you generate and see that you have there the plane see that it's a plane different from the base one okay so now you go here in this support plane sketch and we want to sketch whatever so in our case we're doing all the circle the pi and see that let me go here and see that the p there probably you don't see it clearly but you're doing on your own you will see you have a c that is on the line and then there's a p that is coincident there with that point you put there your circle or whatever you're doing and now let me give dimensions and dimensions this diameter and here you put whatever you want okay so let me put here in this case 0 0.1 okay we're done and see here that you have this profile this is important to use the, the, the sweep this profile needs to be attached to the path so as usual we need to create this one concept a surface from sketches apply as usual i recommend you to use app frozen generate 
and see that you have it here. Uh, one thing that I'm seeing this path here, because remember, I chose here always always show, show, show a sketch, but sometimes some sketch they will be high because so uh, answers will high automatically since to make to, to, to just to show you solid. Okay, so if you don't see any sketch in one point, just select there, always show, and you will see that sketch always. So now we select sweep. See, it's asking you profile. This is my profile. It has to be a surface, by the way. Select it. And now it's asking you the path. Okay. This one. Add frozen. You have some options there that you can play around. But I just go like this. And voila, you have this. So see three different ways to create that pipe. Okay, I, here I added now this plan just to show you know the, the curvature. Okay, and the power of this one, this is very powerful. And then you have a skin loft, which is very similar, but the loft will let you assign different profiles. So here you have a, a profile that is constant. With loft, you can put different profiles and it will do the loft. So you can create very organic shapes. Okay, works very similar, I'm not going into details the, to that. You can play with that later. So see that you have this, and then as I mentioned that you need to hide whatever you need, okay? So remember when you move to, to machine, you need to have one solid, okay? So for instance, you want to use just the last one, just leave that, okay? So you su suppress, you have the option suppress, unsuppress, so unsuppress, and you choose. The last thing, thing that I want to show you okay is that for instance you can also add transformation so if you go here create see that you have these body operations so you can translate okay these are more advanced that you need for the moment but for instance create you have here uh body transformation you can rotate mirror whatever you want you can also do boolean operation just to show you i want to show you how they work so for instance i want to move okay uh, uh, uh okay I want to, okay, give me a minute. Okay, ta 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 ta. So, uh, this one, so ta 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 ta. So, the auctions, body, okay, move. And source plane, okay. Okay, that one is applying some words on ta ta ta. Body operation, okay. Okay, these are something else. So, okay, let me go back and we have create and Boolean. So it should be this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's translate. I want to translate. I want to translate this body. Okay. And you can choose a direction. Okay. So you have the, the line, a reference line. You can choose it here. Okay. See that. It will move in this direction so look at that i will select that direction and here see the distance one two okay or minus one okay so let me put it here minus 1.5 generate okay probably was too much okay so i will show you what i want to do 1.1 and you have it there okay so see that I translate my geometry and see that now it's intersecting the another one, okay? So you have all these options here, okay? Body transformation, mirror, whatever, play with those. But now see that I want, for instance, create a union between these two. Then you have another tool, very important, Boolean, okay? So for instance, unite, it will unite those two solids into one single solid, okay? So see that that one becomes that one. But you have different actions for that one. So let me edit and you can choose, for instance, I want just the subtraction, okay, of these two. Okay, so this, let's see that you have this subtraction of those or you can just get the intersection. So you have the, all the options there, you can play with there. So for instance, let me get the intersection. I have those two bodies and this is the intersection of those two bodies there. Okay, so for instance, and let me leave that one. For instance, 
suppress and suppressing this one you get the original and then the translate you can suppress it and you get the original okay so you can suppress operations there so what you see here everything that we have done is parametrical okay so it's just change something everything will update it so this is very important when you are creating parametric caps think about the, the parametrization okay because you want to, to to update everything in in a few quick operations not changing parameters okay so think about that uh, as you have seen there is no a uh, single way to do a geometry it's up to you how to choose but you said also it's a good idea to take the easiest one okay this is one so for instance in this case this is one might be this one create the circle and extrude okay and think about also the parametrization okay so it's up to you so just to end and to move to the meshing part okay or but before moving to the meshing part then we're going to do the same a geometry where I will show you space screens. But just to show you that, remember that when we move to meshing, we need to have a single part here. So see that I want to hide or suppress all this, this surface, I don't need it, suppress. And now you have this single one, okay? These caches, they are not exported. And as I mentioned, it's a good practice. It's not compulsory, but it's a good practice. Put it there solid, put a name, you want to change that name. And we're done, okay? So you have your solid here. And now let's move to the next video. Thank you for your attention. Okay, but before ending, so remember, we close here. You have this one, says the project every now and then. And then the next video, we're going to move here. And now we're going to create a new geometry with using space cleanse. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.